If you have gout, you know the unfortunate signs of a gout flare up. There's nothing you can do to stop a gout attack once it's started, but there are things you can do to care for a gout flare at home. A gout attack happens when someone who already has higher than normal levels of uric acid in the body has a buildup of uric acid around a joint. Uric crystals form, causing a painful gout flare. Many things, including alcohol, some foods, stress, and some medications, can cause your uric acid level to rise, leaving you open to a gout attack. Warning Signs of a Gout Flare Up Some people with gout, also known as gouty arthritis, say a gout attack begins with a burning, itching, or tingling feeling in a joint maybe an hour or two before their gout flare-up starts. The joint may feel a little stiff or a little bit sore. Not long after these warning signals, the telltale signs of gout begin. If you get repeated gout attacks, you'll learn your body's signals that a gout flare-up is about to begin. Sometimes, people with gout have no early signs that a gout flare is about to start. They may wake up in the middle of the night with a very painful joint. When the gout flare starts, most people have redness, swelling, and severe pain, usually in one joint. The most common place for gout is the base of the big toe, but it can occur in other joints such as the elbow, knee, wrist, ankle, and in step. The pain is often so strong that it hurts to have anything touch the joint at all. Many people with gout say that just the feel of the bed sheet touching the inflamed joint is very painful. Home care for a gout flare up. If your gout has been diagnosed, and your doctor has given you medicine for a gout flare up, take the medicine as directed when you know you are having a flare up. In most cases, that will probably be as soon as the first signs of gout begin. Continued. Your health care provider may prescribe non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs, NSAIDs, such as naproxen, Aleve, Ibuprofen, Motrin, Advil, Indomethacin, Indocin, Sulindac, Clinoral, Salicoxib, Celebrex, or Meloxicam, Mobic, or suggest you take over-the-counter NSAIDs in prescription doses. This usually will be effective. In some cases, you already may be taking medicine to help avoid gout flare-ups. Your doctor may have suggested Allopurinol, Aloprim, Lopurin, Ziloprim, Colchicine, Colocrease, Fibuxostat, Euloric, Lysinurid, Zorombic, Probenicid, Probalin. Just because you have a flare doesn't mean these medicines aren't working. In the first few months that you take this type of gout medication, you actually may have a gout flare-up as your body adjusts to the medicine. Your doctor will likely have given you medicine to take if this happens, so take that medicine when you have a flare. Continue to take the preventive medicine, too. If you have been taking preventive gout medicine for a long time, and have started to have flares for the first time in a while, call your doctor. He she may talk to you about changing your dosage or your medicine. Non-medication pain relief. In addition to medication, these self-care tips may help your gout flare up pain. Use cold. If the pain isn't too bad, try cold packs or cold compresses on the joint to lessen the inflammation and help the pain. Ice the joint for 20 to 30 minutes several times a day. Rest the joint. It's a good idea to rest until the pain lessens. Most people having an acute attack of gouty arthritis probably won't want to move the joint much anyway. Raise the joint if you can on a pillow or other soft object. Drink water. A lack of water in your body can make your uric acid levels rise even higher than they already are. Drinking water will help your body stabilize uric acid to a normal level. Watch what you eat and drink. Foods that are high in purines, some seafood, organ meats like liver, and fatty foods, can increase the uric acid in your blood even more. So can fructose sweetened drinks and alcohol, especially beer. Continued. 
went to get help for a gout flare. It's always a good idea to let your doctor know that you are having a flare. Sometimes, you may need to follow up to make sure your gout treatment plan is working or if your symptoms don't improve. Call your health care provider, if this is your first gout flare-up. There are several other conditions, such as a joint infection, that have some of the same symptoms as gout flares. You have a high fever and chills, gout attack symptoms may include a low-grade fever, but a higher fever may be a symptom of an infection. Your symptoms don't improve somewhat after 48 hours or don't end after about a week. If you don't start to feel somewhat better after a few days, call your health care provider. In addition, he she may suggest a different treatment. Most gout attacks will resolve by themselves in 7 to 10 days even without gout treatment. By Robert Pright. Health Day Reporter. Wednesday, May 10th, 2017. Health Day News. Warding off the joint pain of gout may be as easy as eating right, a new study suggests. Gout, a joint disease that causes extreme pain, and swelling, is caused by excess uric acid in the blood. It's the most common form of inflammatory arthritis, and its incidence has risen among Americans over recent decades, Harvard researchers noted. But the DASH, dietary approaches to stop hypertension, diet, which is high in fruits and vegetables, and low in salt, sugar and red meat, can lower levels of uric acid in the blood. The American Heart Association has long supported the DASH regimen as a way to help avoid heart disease. Third-party ad content Conversely, the unhealthy Western diet is associated with a higher risk of gout, said Dr. Hyun Choi, of Harvard Medical School in Boston, and colleagues. The Western diet describes the fatty, salty, sugar-laden fare of many Americans, one nutritionist wasn't surprised by the new findings, pointing out that the DASH diet is low in compounds called purines, which break down to form uric acid. I can see how the DASH diet may benefit someone with gout, said Jen Brennan, clinical nutrition manager at Lenox Hill Hospital in New York City. The DASH diet avoids excessive consumption of red and organ meats known to have high purine levels. Brennan added that the DASH diet also encourages high intake of fruits and vegetables. We want to encourage fluids and vitamin C for these patients to help rid the body of uric acid, and fruits or vegetables can support this. In their study, the Harvard researchers analyzed data from more than 44,000 men, aged 40 to 75, who had no prior history of gout. The men provided information about their eating habits every four years between 1986 and 2012. Over the study period, more than 1,700 of the men developed gout. During 26 years of follow-up, those who followed the DASH diet, high in fruits, vegetables, legumes, nuts, low-fat dairy products, and whole grains, and low in salt, sugary drinks and red and processed meats, were less likely to develop gout than those who ate a typical Western diet, the findings showed. continued. The Western diet is high in items such as red and processed meats, french fries, refined grains, sweets and desserts. The study wasn't designed to prove a cause and effect relationship. However, the findings suggest that the DASH diet may provide an attractive preventive dietary approach for the risk of gout, the researchers concluded. Joy's team noted that many people who have high uric acid levels also have elevated blood pressure or hypertension, another reason to switch to the healthier DASH diet. According to the study's lead author, Sharon Rai, of Massachusetts General Hospital, the diet may also be a good option for patients with gout who have not reached a stage requiring uric acid, lowering drugs, or those who prefer to avoid taking drugs. Rai is with Mass General's Division of Rheumatology, Allergy and Immunology. 
third-party ad content. And since the vast majority of patients with gout also have hypertension, following the DASH diet has the potential of killing two birds with one stone, addressing both conditions together, Ronnie said in a hospital news release. However, more studies are needed to track the diet's effectiveness in curbing gout flare-ups, the researchers said. Dana Angelo White is a registered dietitian at Quinnipiac University in Hamden, Connecticut. She called the new study another win for the DASH diet, a sensible plan that emphasizes whole foods, and a healthy balance of all major food groups. I'm pleased to see a study that highlights the benefits beyond cardiovascular health. If more people ate this way, we would continue to see decreases in all kinds of chronic illness. The study was published online May 9th in the BMJ. WEBMD News from Health Day. Sources. Sources, Jen Brennan, RD Clinical Nutrition Manager, Lenox Hill Hospital, New York City, Dana Angelo White, Mississippi. RE Registered Dietitian and Clinical Assistant Professor of Athletic Training and Sports Medicine, Quinnipiac University, Hamden, Connecticut, Massachusetts General Hospital, News Release, May 9, 2017, BMJ, News Release, May 9, 2017. Copyright 2013-2017 Health Day. All rights reserved.